Welcome back. I'm Kevin Locken with Mitchell Acoustical, and today we're going to be talking about Dan backing and why you should be using it on all of your installs. When we're working in hotels, assisted living, or medical units, some of the things that we have to hang typically are on the heavier side, whether it's x-ray machines, bigger fixtures, handrails, grab bars, that kind of stuff. A lot of times an anchorage system, whether it's a screw, zip it, or anything else like that, won't hold enough. So we have to hang strips of plywood which we inevitably have to cut piece by piece by piece by piece. And we're working with metal studs. So when we, when we run them in there, we have to cut a flange down the side. And that just takes a really long time to do the installs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we would run a typical piece of plywood to hang a piece of backing. We're talking about 16 inch stud spacing here. So we know that our first piece is going to be 16 inches, but the other thing about steel stud framing is that there's a little flange on the inside. So what I have to do is I have to wrap it out a piece inside that's about an inch and a quarter to the center of it. So I'm going to cut a couple strips inside there so I can fit it in there and it gets snug and tight so that when I screw it, that it's snug. As we've made mention, it's 16 inches. I'm going to go ahead, mark that out. Then I had a rabbit over on this side at about an inch and an eighth to about an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to do a couple cuts so that I can notch this out here. And this whole spot in there has to be gone so that I can fit my flange in there. So as you guys can see, this will be enough for the flange. I'll have a little bit of wiggle room in there so I can place it where I need to place it. What we did was we marked it at about an inch and an eighth and an inch and a quarter, and then just cut that rabbit down. And we went in about maybe three eighths of an inch to get a little bit so that we could fit that flange inside of there. Now we're going to take our piece. We're going to slip it inside our flange here, and I'm going to set it up here. What I would normally do, Take a clamp, clamp it, there's a little bit smaller piece, clamp it, take two inch and a quarter screws that I don't have. Two screws go back here. And you could do one, but your board would twist. I don't do it. And that's our normal install. What will happen is a guy will come through with a table saw, run six, eight inch pieces. He'll get about 32 to 40 pieces, depending on whether or not it is 16 or 24 inch uh, framing. He'll then run a rabbit through and typically each piece will take or each sheet of plywood will take 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how much a guy can crank out. But we've got a better alternative. This is Dan backing and it was something that I had found about four years ago when we were doing appliance store installs where we were having to do all of these kitchen installs up and down these aisles. So what we had to do was we had to create two pieces of backing for each cabinet at, at the bottom of 40 foot walls on both sides and for uppers and lower cabinets. Don't ask me why we had to do lowers, but we did. So what this will actually do is these are cut to 15 and three quarters and then it has a big rabbit down the middle and it's covered by a plate of steel. So you don't, you no longer have to run inch and a quarter screws. You could just run mini screws inside of these strapping and you put up four foot pieces at a time. Then your next question is going to be, well, how much do these cost? These are typically six to $8 a piece, but you can maximize it because you're not having to make any cuts. You may have to make a cut in the middle of the board, but that flange is already there for you. So you're just cutting a small piece where your wall extends or it contracts or something like that. So this makes it so much more efficient, which eventually saves you money on the long run. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to install this. So I'm going to go ahead, put my gloves on, and then we're going to do the quick install four foot of this backing. So I'll take this first flange, I'll bend it over, 
put it in there, put it over, put it in there, and over, put it in there. I'll take a clamp on this middle one, clamp it, and I'll go ahead and I'll screw this off. So as you guys can see, I just put up three pieces, four foot of backing in 10 to 15 seconds where it took me minutes to just cut this rabbit it and then put it up. So the time and money saved of having to run hundreds of feet of backing is well worth the cost of six to eight dollars each piece to have this. That was our install of Dan backing and as you guys can see it's way more efficient to run these things where you just grab a stack put it on a baker and run through it like it's, a, it's an assembly as opposed to the old way of installing backing where you have to cut each strip and run each strip through a rabbit and then go ahead and install it with four screws because at some way it's gonna have some play in it. So as always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Any comments, questions, go ahead and hit us below. We'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Have a good one.